Q Kitchens has given us a fantastic opportunity to look at a completely different era of royal history. A piece of uh, royal cookery that we've never really worked on before. We spent a lot of time looking at the famous kitchens of Henry VIII, but this is completely different and we're really excited. What we've got here is a fantastic blank canvas. These kitchens are lovely. As you walk into them, you can just soak up what went on here. No one's touched them since we think about 1820. So you've got all these years, all these layers waiting to be unpeeled and we're really looking forward to finding out what each space was used for. For me, the best space in these kitchens is the Great Kitchen, a huge space that was used for preparing royal meals. And you've got in there a complete roasting range. They don't survive. This range will have cooked roast beef for the king. You have spit racks on the wall and then above us we have a set of gears that would go down to the spit so you don't need anyone turning, it's all mechanical. Inside the chimney is a big fan shaped thing. The heat from the coal rising up there turns the fan round, turns your spit, it's all done mechanically. So this is just as flexible as any modern cooker. All of the rooms down here tell their own story if you know where to look. This room's really great because the clues are all here. It was used for baking, it has two ovens in it. Its old table is so big that no one's bothered to move it, it just still sits here. So I know what went on in here, that a group of guys were making pastries, making up breads, and better than that, I know it was going to the king's table. What's so good about uh, kitchens of this era is that people wrote things down the ingredients that were being purchased, and then the menus that went out each day. So in theory, I can pick any day of the King's visits here and not just say, I think he had soup. I can tell you what sort of soup it was. And from those menus, we can see that the ingredients were designed to show off. This entire place has been purpose-built. Whoever designed it knew exactly what they wanted to do to uh, produce royal meals. And so out of the great kitchen, we have this lovely little doorway with a hatch on it, and outside of there will have been service tables and beautifully uniformed servants come down, take all the food across to put in front of the king. The features are all there from a Georgian kitchen. The little slats to let the air through, the paint is still on the walls and it, it, it's the decor of that time. You're seeing what they thought was special. Our big aim is to not just look at this kitchen, but get them cooking again. No one's cooked in here for at least 200 years, if not longer. We've got the menus, we've got the ingredients lists. I want to go to Craftsman and get these things remade. There are people who can still hammer out a copper cauldron for me, make a saucepan, make a frying pan, go and see a blacksmith get that done. Using all the original equipment, we're going to get to see not just what that food would taste like if we cooked it today in a modern kitchen, but by using the same space, the same equipment, and the same recipes, we might get a true taste of the past. <laughs>